Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and to the next Sudoku Takeout Pack. So this is the second puzzle in Sudoku Takeout Pack 4, which is Trivalent Sudoku, which is our anti-diagonal pack. Um, this is a puzzle which was created mostly by me, although with many of these puzzles, that uh, any of the puzzles that have my name on it, Maggie definitely helped with the creation, or at least uh, significantly with the testing to make it all work. Um, so there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, as well as a link to where you can grab the entire Sudoku pack. Um, and yeah, these puzzles of the testing has definitely revealed these ones to be a little bit more tricky than some of the previous Sudoku takeout packs, but hopefully you enjoy it all. So, um, let's go through the rules and then get onto the puzzle. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then and this is an anti-diagonal. So each of the main diagonals may only contain three distinct digits. So only three different digits um, can be placed on each of these different diagonals. Um, you, of course, may repeat because otherwise you'd have a problem. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. I don't remember the tricks to this puzzle at all. So we can see by Sudoku, three must be in one of those. However, this can't be a three, because if this was a three, we'd have to put three on one of those and three up here. And we can't put three up here. So this is not the three. This is the three. Can I repeat that logic somewhere? Six and six will put six in one of those two. But I think I can put six in here or in here. So that's not forced. So three isn't in any of those. So three isn't on a diagonal because I can't put three on this diagonal because of that three or this diagonal because of that three. So three cannot go on either diagonal. It can't go there. So three is in one of those cells. Mm. Three is in one of those two. Hmm. So is it what digits cannot, what can't go on this diagonal? So I, I can put a one on this diagonal. I can't put a two on this diagonal because I can't put a two down here. I can't put a three on the diagonal. I can't put a four on the diagonal. I can't put a five diagonal. I can put a six. I can't put a seven. I can put an eight. I can put a nine. So this diagonal can only consist of one, six, eight, nine. Now that can't be a one. That can't be a six. That can't be a nine. That can't be a six. There must be an eight or a nine. But these can only be one, six, eight, and nine. Interesting. No six there, no six there, no one there. These can only be one, six, eight, and nine. There's no one there. There's no six in either of those. Interesting that that's forced that way. If there's a six on it, it's there, there, and there. Interesting. Do I have a, the same restriction here? There, well, there can't be a nine in the middle because then I'd have to put a nine here. Right, this is an eight because I can't put a one in the middle because then I'd have to put a one up here and I can't. And there can't be a nine in the middle because then I'd have to put a nine down here and I can't. That's an eight, which takes eight out of those. And there must be an eight on each of these diagonals. That's cool. And the others are one, six, nine. So that's one or nine, and this is six or nine. Interesting. If that's a nine, that's a six. I'm not sure what that does. But it's interesting. Well, one can never go on this. Right, right. One can never go on this diagonal because I, if I put one on the diagonal, I'd have to put one up here and I can't. So one's not on the diagonal and one's not in those cells. So that's the one. So there's no one there. Nine can never go on the diagonal here. Hmm. I don't think that's the trick. But that one is interesting. It puts one in one of those two. Nine is in one of those. Four is in one of those. Well, actually, four is in one of those two because four can't be in any of those. Six is not in any of those. 
But eight must be on each of these diagonals, on each of them, in fact. Five is up here. Seven is in one of those two now, because that seven and that seven is restricting seven to those two. Can I put seven on the diagonal? Maybe. Maybe. All I know is six is not in any of those. Hmm. So what can go on this diagonal? I can't put one on the diagonal. I can put two. I can't put three. I can put four. I can't put, I can put five. I can't put six. I can put seven. I can put eight. So two, four, five, seven, eight is a ridiculous pencil mark. So is this restricted? It can't be one, two, three. It could be four. This can be four, five. It can't be six, seven. Oh, it can be eight. It can't be nine. This is four, five, or eight. Oh, this isn't a one. So what have we got in this column? Four, five, eight, nine. Yeah, that did not do me very well, did it? That was not a good pencil mark. I remember this puzzle did ramp up a little. Oh, two and seven. Can't go in any of those. Can't go there because I can't put a two seven there. This is a two seven pair. So there must be a two or a seven on here. And there must be a two or a seven up here. Can't put a two there, can't put a seven there, but there is a two seven on this diagonal. And these are four, five, eight. That's not a four. So there must be a five or an eight, but I've got an eight. Five being in one of those is kind of interesting. But two, two means that's a two. Where can I put two in this box? I can't put two in any of those. I can't put two in any of those because of that. That can't be a two. That's a two. So this is a one. And now this is a one. And this is a one because I have to put one on each of the diagonals. And this, six, eight, nine, six, eight, nine, there's no six in any of those because of those two sixes. It's an eight, nine pair. So this has to be a nine and there's no six there. That's the six. That's not bad. I'm not unhappy with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are five and six, and the six is telling me the order. That's the five, that's the six. There's no five there anymore. So this is four, eight, or nine. So it's four or nine. It can't be an eight. One of those must be two or seven, and one of these must be two or seven. Well, that can't be a two and that can't be a two, but that still could be. One is in one of those two by Sudoku. Ah, one in this box, however, is there by Sudoku because of these ones and that one, which means that's not the one, that's the one. One is here by Sudoku and that's all the ones. Two is in one of those two by Sudoku, which puts one in one of those two by Sudoku. And now I can't put two on this diagonal. That two C's there. Um, and those twos, because I can't put two here, two has to be in one of those. So that can't be a two and that can't be a two because of those. I can't put a two in any of those. So that can't be a two. That's a seven. That's a two. One of these two has to be a seven. And one of those two has to be a seven because I can't put a seven there. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, and seven. 
The three comes out of there, but more importantly, the four comes out of both of those. So that's the four, this is a three, seven, and the seven makes that the three and that the seven. Put four in one of those two. Seven looks up saying, that's not the seven, that's the seven putting seven in one of those two. So there must be an eight in one of those two with either four, five. So it's four, five, this is four, five, eight because these can only be from four, five, eight. So this is four, five, eight. That one can't be a four. And these are from four, five, seven. That one can't be a four. Hmm. But seven is in. Oh no, I've got that. I was about to say seven has to be down here, but I know that. That five eight has to be in one of those two. Okay. What are these two digits? In the column, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine, and the nine is making that the eight and that the nine. So these are two, three, and seven. There's no two there, there's no three there. So this, hang on. One, two, three. That five says this isn't a five. This is four, eight, or nine. If there's a five, it's there. Yeah, it could be. I think it could be. Six is not in any of those. The six and six here is taking six out of those, and I can't put six on the diagonal. Six is in one of those two, which puts six in one of those two, but that six says the six isn't there. That's the six. So these are five, seven, and eight, and there must be a seven in one of them. There's no eight there. There's no five there, that's the seven, which means this is the three, there's no three there, there's no seven there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, four, five, eight, nine. I'm not. Well, this can't be an eight or a nine. So this is only a four or a five. It sees one, two, three, six, seven, eight, and nine. And the four makes this the five, which makes this the eight, which makes this the five. And now there must be a five on the diagonal. So one of those is a five and one of those is a seven. So this, yeah, this is the eight. This is the four because we must have an eight on the diagonal and the others are five and seven. So there's no four here. This is a five, seven pair and with five, seven, eight. So this is a five, eight. That's the only place the eight can go. That's the only place the five can go. There's no eight there anymore. That's the only place the four can go. The eight looks down making that the nine and that the eight. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that is the eight. Nice. I'm pretty happy with that resolution. The eight looks up making that the nine and that the eight. The nine means this is the four, this is the nine. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So those are four and six. So one, these are two and three, I think. And three means that's the two, that's the three. The two means that's the seven and that's the two. The seven means that's the five and that's the seven. Okay, up here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, and nine, and the nine makes that the two and that the nine. These digits for the row, three and eight, and the eight we already have in column six makes that the three and that the eight. These digits, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine, and the seven here means that's the nine and that's the seven. These three digits are two, four, five. That's not a two, that's not a five. Not sure how to resolve the rest, but let's do the rest of these. Uh, for the row, one, two, five, nine. The two means that's not a two, that's not a five or a nine. That's the two. 
So this is a five nine. The nine looks down, making that the five and that the nine. The two looks up, meaning that's the four. So that's the five, that's the two. The four looks down, making that the six and that the four. In here, we need to put a three. Those threes say it's there. We need to put a four. That four says it's there and we haven't put a six. So we put a six in and that is the solution to the puzzle. Um, yeah, pizza oven. Not sure why I called it that. It's possible I'd ordered pizza or something. <laughs> um, it may have been one of the nights that I had been, I picked up pizza on the way to Maggie's house. It could have been uh, we finished the tuning the puzzle just after we'd had pizza or something, and I had the smell of pizza wafting through the house. It's the sort of thing we do when we're naming puzzles. Who knows? But I think that one was a really nice way of showing off some anti-diagonal tricks. Starting with the next puzzle, however, we start throwing some variants into the mix, and some of them really happy with the way some of them um, played out. Hopefully you will be too. Um, as I've said below, the, this pack is released as a pay what you want. Nothing is fine. Just watching the ads on the video is a great support. Um, but um, Or if you're YouTube premium, just watching the video is great support or whatever. But as I said, there will be a Kofi link in the pack or in the description below where you can pay what you want. A couple of bucks is great. Anything over $5 and you're paying too much. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.